Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry I was gone for so long. I tried to do a video on Friday, but we were trying to get ready for our fishing trip and it just was a crazy week last week and I couldn't seem to get anything accomplished. So um, anyway, back. Sorry about the long, the long time. Um, I do have a new digi. It's uh, the rest of those ads, those vintage ads that I had from the Virginia and Truckee Railroad directory. And so these ones are all in the cream color. I had some people asking me if I could do um, some without the blue and the purple. And so this is all the rest of them. So you get one like this. And they're going to kind of all look the same sort of, but they're all different ads. <clears throat> and there's nine pages in this digi. And these are vintage um, railroad directory ads. So it's nothing that I made on the computer or anything. And you can kind of see some of the color from <clears throat> um, pages that are underneath these pages coming through because, you know, this book's starting to really fall apart. I've showed the book before. It's, it's in sad shape, but these ads are just really neat. This one, you can really see the blue page that's behind that one. In fact, I think this one's out entirely. I just sort of set it there and scanned it. <clears throat> but they're just fun because you can use just one ad or, you know, you could just cut out this rectangle and use that or tear them and collage with them. I mean, they're just kind of fun. And the fonts are neat. There's all different fonts. They're just, they're just kind of cool. So anyway, that's that one and um so yeah it's pretty simple there's no colors on that one because like i said i did have somebody ask if they could get them without the color so there we go <clears throat> and she did already order it so that's awesome um so we're back to working on this um, i'm getting close to being done i did get some stuff done last week it's just i didn't i wasn't able to video so um you've seen a lot of this but i did do these journaling cards just collaged on the front and journaling space on the back <clears throat> and those are just going to tuck in that pocket and then this I kind of liked this flap over the top of this so we did this together last week this was the envelope I'm pretty sure we did this one see I can't even remember what I've done or haven't done but anyway it's um it's a book page. It's actually a dictionary page. That's why it's a larger size and it fits, you know, in there so nicely. But I just took the entire page. I took two of them because they were dictionary pages, which um, sometimes are a little bit like Bible pages. They're that thinner kind of paper. And so I put, glued two of them together and you just fold them in half and fold them this way again. And then, you know, it kind of just makes a little book. And this wasn't my idea. I've done one of these in a video before. And it's Diane H. Creates, I believe, who I got this from. So, and then I just collaged all over using some of Gail Agustinelli's, like, receipts and um, some of my papers and just all kinds of different random things to make, like, a little book that tucks right in there. Those are really fun to make. I really like those a lot. And then I think you guys saw this. See, I can't even remember because I did do, I started a video Friday, but I just couldn't finish it. And I just decided I would go ahead and, you know, start over today. So there's a little journaling card in there. So that's done. And then just a journal, like tag, or whatever you want to call it, in that pocket. So that was that piece of junk mail that I altered. That goes there. And then in here, um, you guys made this one with me. And then I did this one. And this is just uh, tissue paper that's got polka dots on it that I put over a flashcard, a math flashcard, and then just collaged on it. And that's one of my digi pages from the Spooky Times that's just glued straight down, not collage. And then I did another little sort of like a book using book page, you know, to journal inside of. So that's that one, and that tucks in there. And then this one goes in, and then this way you can see <clears throat> these little the witches here, and you get to see the pumpkin, and then Poe peeking out the top up there. So it's just a whole Halloween extravaganza. And then I did a little um, 
pocket thing here and this is just book page um, that I tore and then I just folded one little piece in half and you know I stitched it along the edge so it makes two pockets and this is the back part of it so that goes there I mean you could put them in any way you want it doesn't really matter just made some little tags this is just says witch hazel it's just kind of a neat neat colors little ad thing that I had so that's as far as I've gotten with that and then I was going to start today on the altered uh, notebook so as you've seen if you've been watching these I um, just painted this notebook black and I went ahead and sanded all inside of here because I may just try to put some tissue paper over this I haven't decided yet on that part but we're going to work on the cover right now so I just kind of got some papers ready so that you guys wouldn't have to you know wait quite as long because all this is a process for sure and it does take a bit I'm trying to decide I think I'm going to use glue stick and wet glue on this because I'm worried I mean I sanded it and stuff but I just I don't know I don't want it to just fall off after you go to all that work so I hope you're all having an awesome weekend oh and I want to say I hope everybody is safe that hurricane I have a couple of subscribers that have mentioned that they're in that whole zone so please 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 everybody be safe I mean you know even if you're not a subscriber obviously I just just hopefully everybody heeds the warnings and does you know what they need to do and I the Bahamas I'm just so that is so horrible every year those darn things I'm telling you and I'm not gonna go completely to the edge because I am gonna use a piece of fabric and kind of go over the top of that so just gonna glue this on and then I say that and then this goes off the edge but it's okay it'll be fine because I'm gonna cover all that over oh I didn't put wet glue on there did I <laughs> well I guess we're gonna find out if it's gonna stick <laughs> I mean I really think it will this stuff is really good so I'm hoping that it will stick well but we'll see I, I want this one next and wherever it hangs over I'm going to trim it so that it will fit yeah, I think that was the order I was going in. Kind of laid it out on Friday and it's been a few days. We had a great time on our fishing trip. We, I caught a bass and we had a sturgeon on the line. And if you don't know what a sturgeon fish is, it's a great big, ugly, prehistoric, like from the Triassic period fish. <laughs> They're kind of crazy looking. But anyway, we had one on the line and he was probably about four feet long four to five feet long and we reeled him for nine of us took turns reeling and pulling and reeling and pulling for an hour and a half <laughs> and our line broke and we didn't get the fish so that was a real bummer but we had lots of fun in the process so um anyway i took one of the pieces of my digi and i just cut it around where this uh, vellum piece was and I just cut it part way down not all the way down and then I'm going to take um, this girl that's also in the digi she's got her little wheat costume on and um, I'm just slipping it in there just to give me some levels and you know just some difference because I'm not um, popping anything up I'm trying to keep everything nice and flat because this is going to go inside of that um, envelope that faux front envelope that we did so uh, I don't want it to be too thick because otherwise it's it'll, it's just not going to work. So I think I want this web right here. So I'm going to kind of put that one down now just so that I can really get that in a good spot before I forget how I wanted it. So yeah, I just I hope everybody's safe. Those hurricanes, that scares me, man. Everybody says they're scared of earthquakes and stuff, but those hurricanes, I'm telling you, every year, too, it's crazy, crazy, so yeah, I hope, I hope you're safe, Nan, it's a scary thing, all right, so I think I'm going to put glue all on the back of this and I'm just gonna let it stick through there like that I 
Yeah, I don't think I could do those hurricanes every year. I, I mean, I know it doesn't always hit the same place every year, but it sure seems like it hits certain areas a lot more than others, that's for sure. But I guess it's kind of like tornadoes, you know. All those type of things. I'm going to put some glue back here, too, so this sticks down. As well. I hope everybody else had an awesome Labor Day, safe and sound and happy and fun. And I grabbed a hold of that. That was not good. Okay, so this one's going to go all the way to the edge and the corner as well as I can get it. Am I in? Yeah. I just want to make sure I was on the screen there. And I tore these out, so they're not perfectly even either. And I'll have to put a little glue on that little flap. But yeah, I cannot get over... If you had told me that a four foot or so fish could pull like that, I mean, we got, we had some big guys that went, you know, my husband's a pretty big guy too, and I don't know, they could not pull that sucker in. I mean, you know, they were definitely gaining on him, and it was working. It's not that it wasn't working, it's just, man, those suckers are strong. I've never done a lot of fishing, so, like, I don't know much about all that, but, um, yeah, it was, it was crazy to feel how strong that thing was. I, tr I tried, you know, reeling too. And I just wanted to see it. I was so bummed when it got away. We weren't going to eat it. Um, we were going to let him go. But it was just strong, strong, strong fish. We had lots of fun, so hanging out with friends and stuff. Sorry, getting my rounded corners. Don't want to make them look weird, so. I'm going to actually take a little sandpaper kind of rough those edges a tiny bit. They're looking kind of kind of perfect. I'll sand them a little. Or not sand them. Ink them. That's what I'm trying to say. Alright, so that's our cover. Like I said, I didn't want a lot of dimension because it won't fit in that uh, folder if I do that. And then, let's see, on the inside, i got to decide what I'm going to do. Because this, I mean, could be useful, but I don't, it's just not very, I don't like the way it looks. So, maybe we'll just kind of collage in here. thought about keeping it, but I don't know that I want to. I'm going to make a pocket or something on there instead. So I think I'll go ahead and collage on here and just do some, you know, I don't like the mead up there and all that, it, it just a lot of, I mean I could definitely cover it with tissue paper and then put something up there and all that, but I just, I don't think I like it enough to do that, have it on there. But you definitely could, if you're making your own, you know, you could definitely cover that with some tissue. Or like, uh, sewing tissue would be another good thing to use, because that would alter your color from this shiny white to, you know, something more interesting. So, let's see. I don't know, maybe I will do that. <laughs> now, that I'm, now that I said that, maybe I will do that. I can still put a pocket there. Maybe or 
something. Let me see what I got. Is it still going to be kind of... it even more. And I think I'll just use pieces and do some overlapping. That'll give me some darker spots and some lighter spots. That might be interesting looking. I think this is going to have to come off though. Let's see if I can do it with this. I haven't tried this. So. And I'm just going to go with the direction of it. I'm not even going to worry about that tearing that edge because I'll end up covering it over with something else anyway. Because like I said, I don't want to see mead up there. Sorry, mead. No offense. Just not really what I want to see on my, <laughs> my junk journal or my altered notebook. Hence the reason for altering it in the first place. I love these glue sticks. I, I mean, I know I've said it, I can't say it enough, because they seriously are the best glue sticks I've ever used. And I've used them on fabric and everything, and they really seem to work pretty darn well. And it's the Scotch Create. And when you find them on um, Amazon, you don't, the packaging doesn't look like this online. It's like that red, just make sure you're getting, you type in Scotch Create and um, permanent. Make sure it's permanent, not like any of their, whatever they call it, removable or whatever it's called. Um, ones. So, and it'll come up. I get a package of four at a time, is how I order them, but I think you can get just one at a time or whatever. But I go through it like crazy, so I like to get four at a time. The, what they show on there looks a lot like what you can get ah, see, I didn't want to do that. at the grocery store where it's just kind of um, in a red, got a red lid and stuff, but it ends up as long as the direct, not directions, but um, description tells you that it's the Scotch Create. Easy for me to say today. I always forget how fragile this. I mean, this is even more fragile than tissue paper. It just completely disintegrates once it gets the tiniest bit. Ah, uh, see, wet. So I will fix those holes, though. We were up in Reagan's Idaho fishing. I did not realize because it's up ele high elevation, and I figured it would be cooler, kind of like you know Stanley or those type places. It is hotter than the blazes up there. It's like the Death Valley of Idaho or something. The place is crazy. I couldn't believe how hot it was, and just dry, desert-like. Felt like I was in Nevada again. I don't know how useful. It's probably not going to be useful at all because of this tissue paper over the top of it, but you know.
yeah, I've never been to Riggins, Idaho. It was nice and cool in McCall, and then we got there, and I was like, what in the world? <laughs> Talk about a temperature change. got more, it's a little bit different color, but it's got more like instructions and things on it. I ended up putting it all over. Mm -hmm. A plain piece right there. This is a little different. You guys um, probably are bored out of your mind about now. But I really wanted to come on and work on this today. I mean, it's just sort of the process and the steps of these things aren't always super interesting, I guess. Yeah, let me know if you guys fish what you like to fish for. I um, Like I said, I've never done a lot of fishing. I mean, my husband and I have gone a few times when we were younger, and we took the kids a couple times, you know, just to local rivers and stuff when they were little. But not any large amount. It was, it was really fun. That deep sea fishing sounds like that would be kind of fun. Although the uh, the boat would probably make my husband sick. <laughs> he gets seasickness really bad. <clears throat> I luckily don't have that problem. I think I'm going to put the pumpkin up here. And I'll probably put some more in other spots. Just for some interest. Scoot him down just a little bit. There we go. Uh, you can still see the mead. much if at all. I can put a little bit of let me see if I can just find some black tissue and have some here. There you go. I'll probably do it. black behind the pumpkin but it looks better than it's saying mead at least again no no nothing wrong with mead at all it's just not a very aesthetically pleasing thing on your journal unless that's what you're going for put a few more of these little pumpkins around Kind of silly. Uh, it's a little bit like uh, decoupaging, you know. I mean, it is, but you're not going over the top of it, is what I'm saying. So 
so when we got home yesterday, our kids were here. Um, they stayed home because it was more of a, you know, adult fishing trip. And so no other kids were going is what I'm saying. Um, but while we were gone, there was, when we got back, I'll just start there. There was a pile of dirt out um, by one of my flower pots on the front porch. But right next to that flower pot, there's like a little garden bed. And um, I couldn't figure out, my daughter and I were like, what? She's like, I noticed it was there on Saturday, but I wasn't sure if I just didn't notice it the day before. Or, or she said it was Saturday, yeah, that she didn't notice it. And then Sunday, she's like, when I came out and watered, it was there. And she's like, I just thought I didn't realize that it was there the first time. And I'm like, no, I didn't put that there. And so we called my sister just to see if maybe she had brought some dirt over, you know, because we share yard stuff and whatever. And I thought maybe she had brought me some dirt. And because um, it was about like probably three shovels full, two shovels full. And um, she's like, no, I didn't, I didn't bring dirt. <laughs> and uh, so... I was racking my brain trying to think like where where would this dirt have come from it's so bizarre and so I went out to clean it up and was spraying everything down and I left the hose running while I was cleaning up the rocks and I left it running in that flower bed and I had looked for holes for critters because that was my original first thought was it's probably some little animal that you know dug the hole and dug dirt but I couldn't find the holes and then after I left that running there for a bit, um, I look up and there's this vole standing there looking, well, I'm not really looking at me because they're blind. Um, at least I think it was a vole. It could have, somebody was saying it might have been a gopher. I don't really know. I, again, that is not my area of expertise by any stretch of the imagination. We didn't have stuff like that in Nevada. Um, I mean, I'm sure it exists in certain places, but... It's just so hot and dry there that uh, you don't get a lot of the bugs and critters and things that you get in other places. And so, um, but I'm pretty sure it's a vole because it looks, its feet were just like a mole's, but it was obviously a lot tinier than a mole. And um, so we took him out, you know, near this area, there's a lake, and let him go in some grasses and things like that because I don't know what to do with it but I don't want it digging holes in my yard and I know they're a nuisance for like farmers and stuff because obviously they're digging holes in their farmland and eating their crops and things like that so um, I didn't want to just take it to anywhere but ay 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 little stinker dug a big old hole I couldn't believe the amount of dirt that came out. I mean, his actual hole itself wasn't big. That's why I couldn't see it. But what he dug out was sure a lot. So yeah, that, I think that's kind of fun. So I guess I'm not going to do a pocket. <laughs> I'll um, make these pages into pockets. I think that'll work. i just put a little bit right there because I feel like it's going to come off. And I think I'm just going to kind of tear along here. But yeah, I didn't realize how fast they could dig a hole like that. For the life of me, I couldn't figure out where that dirt came from. Because we mostly have, you know, um, cement sidewalks, all that kind of stuff in this area that I'm in. And so it's not like normal to have critters like that really running around here. I mean, we're near farmland, but we're not on a farm or anything like that. So, that was kind of a little adventure yesterday when we got home. And at first I was irritated because I thought somebody like came and just dumped dirt, you know, on our porch. I'm like, well, that was real nice, but uh, no, it was the little critter.
we did when we first moved into this area because it was originally farmland and then it got you know bought up by subdivision uh, kind of situation and so we did have lots of voles out in the back but I never saw them my cats would go out there and stick their paws down in the holes and stuff like that for hours trying to catch them never could they never could catch them but um But never, you know, like directly in our yard. They were always out, like out back behind the house. And it was just a weird spot because, like I said, there's our porch and the sidewalk and all that right there. And I feel bad, you know, kicking him out, but I don't want him eating all my plants. So he got evicted, so to speak. I almost drowned him, not on purpose, but I didn't know he was under there. He came out all sopping wet. My husband's like, well, you probably just fed some eagle dinner. And it's like, well, <laughs> I don't know what else to do with him. It's not like I can keep him or, you know, I don't want to, obviously. He's a rodent. But, um, I mean, he's a cute little thing, but I don't want him around. And I guess I, it's better if I feed um, a bird of prey than just kill him and throw him in the garbage or something like that. You know, at least something may benefit from the whole thing. That's just kind of the way it is. With this life stuff. But I'm pretty sure it's a vole because he, I don't think he could see anything. He just was wandering around. I mean, I could have just picked him up. Of course, I'd never do that. I got him in a shoebox. Scooched him into a shoebox with the lid. and um, Because, you know, I don't not get bit or scratched or something and then get some horrible something. <laughs> so, I just scooched him on his way, but there isn't anywhere else around here for him to go. I'm just getting the edges of this. I probably should have done that before I inked, but you know, sometimes you don't think of it. I just need some glue right there. Yeah, Nevada, I remember as a kid looking for bugs, you know, like <laughs> if you found a caterpillar all summer or whatever, we would get those pill bugs, roly polies, or whatever you want to call them. Um, lift up rock after rock after rock and maybe find like three of them. Here, I pull weeds or anything out of the garden. Like, you know, sometimes you pull out flowers or whatever because you're moving stuff around. And they're everywhere. I mean, gobs of them. I used to love those things. Now I hate them because they eat the roots off of everything. I just never... We didn't have that problem. Alright. So there's some pumpkins and things. And I think we'll make a pop get out of those front pages. Let me clean up this a little bit. And I'll probably end up doing the same to the back, but I won't make you guys watch me do that because it's about a snooze fest. So we can fold. I'm going to fold them this way and then I'll fold them the other way. I just want to get the size that I want. I mean, you can you can leave them this way too. But um, to me it's easier. Yeah, see that's going to be too far. So I fold it this way if it... No ripping out pages.
And you don't want to get too far into that fold right there. You want to leave yourself a little space, which is kind of how I just messed up um, when I folded it the first time because otherwise you can't open and close these and it leaves you like a, a bump. So see if that'll work. And I'm going to fold this one in this way so they can make a pocket and then we can cover it with some paper and then there will be a nice pocket. And this isn't anything new. I'm sure you guys have done this or at least seen it. I know Rachel was doing this kind of thing too. These altered notebooks. Everybody was for a while because Tracy Fox had that um, like altered notebook challenge or whatever. I'm not on Facebook so I have no idea exactly what her challenge was. If she had them on YouTube, I would do them too, but she always does them on Facebook and I stay away from that like the plague, so. I'm not exactly sure. I think it was just, you know, altering one and then email it to somebody or whatever. I just don't know any of the details. I think she's done with that one anyway. But, oh, I forgot, I gotta glue the flaps down, so thought the lid was on it. Ah. I just want to get the tip so it'll stay down. But yeah, I wish she would do them on YouTube too. Talk about them. not a fan of Facebook. I know I'm the only weird one in the world, but it's just not my thing. Well, for one thing, I can barely keep up with, um, you know, like I try to put my stuff on Instagram and then on here and keep up with my Etsy shop. I really just don't have time for any more, any other social media stuff. I just don't. I can barely get my emails read and stuff, so, and I have work email too that I deal with. So between all of that, I just, I don't have time for Facebook. Not that I want time for Facebook, but. All right. So I try to, if I possibly can, lift them to meet as well. I mean, this is tricky. It's kind of like altered books. Drives me a little nutty trying to get. Because it's never going to meet up perfectly because, of course, it's not folded perfectly and all that kind of thing. But I try to get it as good as I can. Not a machine. Okay, let's see if I can find a bone folder. Nope. Of course not. Probably should have found it before I did this. Smooth. We're going to cover all this up too, so it's not entirely perfect. It's not like that. That is weird. I'm wanting to fold all weird. See, this is what I don't like about this particular way of doing this. Not that I have a better way, because I don't. <laughs> Obviously. But see, then I get the weird ripples. But like I said, we're gonna um, we're gonna cover it too. I don't know why I struggle with that and getting that right? It seems like everybody else just does it and they glue together beautifully. <sighs> what can you do? Not sure what I want to use in there. Maybe we can use one of these ads. One of the new ads that I just printed out. Might 
be a good fun thing to use. You won't get to see all of it, but that's okay. There was one that was kind of funny. This private diseases cured. All kinds of private diseases cured. <laughs> I love old ads. They're a crack up. I never hold this thing right, I'm telling you. I don't put enough pressure on it or something sometimes. Yeah, so you're going to lose the whole top like that. So I wonder... I think I'm just going to tear this out. I'm just going to use parts of things for this because of the weird slant. in there that's bugging me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to put the cap on this glue. Like stuck over there to some washi tape and some napkin and whatever else it could find on its rolling around trip. Oh my goodness. That stuff is falling apart. I'll fix that. I'll put another piece on there in a minute. Let me get this part figured out first. That's my clock. If, if you haven't heard it before, that's all that is. I use this lace. This is the lace that I used in my digi. I didn't put a whole sheet of it in my digi, but um, that's where it's from. Because I do have another one from, I can't even remember now what that was called. Not Design Curio, but, or maybe, yeah, it was Design Curio, is where I got it. But she has lots of lace digis, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, I would definitely check her out because she's got all different ones, all different, just cool stuff too. But yeah, she's got good, good goodies. If you're looking for lace or anything. It's always interesting getting these started on a slant like that. I'm hoping that, um, most of the United States, you know, in the States here get missed by that hurricane. But I do feel awful for the Bahamas. That's just such a mess. Can't believe how deep that water got for them. Sorry, I'm on that tangent again. Just thinking about it. It's so difficult. We just have snow and stuff like that. We don't get a whole lot of anything else. We didn't even get a lot of that last year. It's nice. on here and I've already noticed that the size is not quite perfect but 
Again, since I'm the one cutting and stuff, I don't think that's possible. Being human makes it difficult to do perfect. But we will get it all figured out. enough room in the world for this crafting project, I'm telling you. I think I could have a whole, like, giant studio and it would probably still not be enough. <laughs> I just make such a mess and spread all out all over. But I don't think I am alone in that. It's very easy to do. Too bad. I'm probably gonna have to go wash my hands. Yeah, I think this will be a cool little something. Get that corner rounded. My wrinkly paper. Like that. All right, and then we need a little piece of this in here. try to anyway. To put right in there. See, I gotta wash my hands. My fingers are so sticky I can't even. <sighs> yep, going to wash hands. Can't do it anymore. I'll be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. I could have used wet wipes, but I'm really close to our hallway. Um, upstairs hallway restroom and so it's kind of just as easy for me to run in there and use soap and water. I don't like all that extra around there. So feel free to fast forward at any time if you're getting bored out of your mind. If you're just crafting and hanging out with me, that's awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for doing that. I really do appreciate it. That, and then I think I might take a piece of this Tim Holtz ephemera, his Halloween ephemera. Got that last year, but I'm sure he'll have either this one or another one this year. Because he seems to do that quite often. Some of these are from this is Graphic 45 paper. I like this one too, the Saturday Evening Post. Yeah, that'd be a good one. It's from 1929, which is after when the ladies were 1918, but you know. Still sort of in that era. This is way earlier though. <laughs> 1870s. What's this one? Strychnine poison. Nice. Uh, let's see. This is one of Gale's. I like these two. They kind of are along the same line as the um, those ads. Just adds a little bit of interest. I like it when things are handwritten on. It's neat. Looks cool. It's not that this is a scary topic here, but it's a creamery. <laughs> but it just kind of, the colors are good. 
a lot of times for me that's more what it's about than maybe the content. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and take this off just to give it that rough edge. I mean, obviously it's fun to have the pumpkins and the, all that stuff, but I don't think every piece that you put on has to be related to that. Okay, so this one I'm going to do about there. I do it more like that since that's kind of the way it's cut. I haven't even had time to watch anybody's videos hardly this for about five days. <laughs> I mean, I try to sort of watch and see what I can. Our whole trip, for the most part, we didn't have cell service, which is pretty common when you're driving around the mountains and things. But I couldn't even watch in the car. We're all chatting and stuff anyway, so. Except on the way back, everybody was a little quieter, a little, a little more tired. It's gonna have to go like that. This I need to get a new one. This makes great journaling paper. Uh, Parts this thick, it's kind of a thick paper. So that'll get used later. Alright, so I think for now, oopsie, sorry, I keep bumping the camera today. That's probably going to be about it. I could do a, a cat, a cat. Oh, this one's even bigger. Yeah, let's do the big one, and then I'll let you guys go, and I'll keep uh, plugging away, and hopefully this will be done, because I need to start getting stuff ready for that boho journal that I'm going to attempt, <laughs> and I'm saying attempt, because I've never done one before, so, and I kind of tend to not do tons of color together. Like, I, I do color, but not... I think mine's going to be a little more muted than a lot of a lot of them. I'm just not good at that whole putting all those colors together. I always think, that doesn't go together. <laughs> and I know it doesn't matter, but that's just the way I am. So, I guess everybody's got their style or their thing, you know. But it was so nice of Maggie to ask me to do that, I'm of course want to try it for sure. Sounds like it's going to be fun. I just have to get in the mode. All right, so I'll let you guys go there, and then um, hopefully next time when I come back, I'll be all done and you can see it all done. So we'll chat later, and if you like my channel, please like and subscribe. Bye bye now.